Hello my YouTube friends, welcome back. Today I want to show you a technique where I'll be showing you a rustic look with some very easy products. So I hope you will join me for another dye adventure. My aim was to make a grungy page with a rustic look. Bit of a Halloweenish look, but since I do not like Halloween that much, I thought I'd do a grunge look. Now I don't have rust paste or any product like it, so I tried to look for a way that was easy and low budget to get a rust texture. So I'm working with the stencil by Gabriella Polacco. Oh, by the way, I'm using a cheap wall filler to use as modeling paste. And it works great and it dries pretty fast. So because I wanted to do it in a circle, I'm doing portions and then dry it in between because otherwise I'm laying my stencil again on it and it will just get uh, smeared out. When I'm finished with that, I'm adding some book text fragments for some more texture and interest. So this project again is very low budget because I'm working on an old piece of wallpaper. I'm in this group of ladies where we do a challenge each month. So we have three prompts and uh, a background that we use. So for this month it was obviously using wallpaper. And I had three prompts and one of them was a rust look. Just like this. So I start adding my shimmer spray, but it's clogged. So the paint sprays where I did not want it to go. Oops, because I wanted to have white space. Well, I will probably fix that later. To help my spray to flow better, I add some water. And now I can direct it a bit where I want it to go. And directing it where I wanted to go with a paintbrush. And when it's dry, I don't think it's dark enough, so I start adding black acrylic paint. And spray it with water. And again, the paint runs where I do not want it to be. So I'm dipping it up. So I'm drying it and then I'm adding the white gesso to get my white space back, which turns more gray than white. So my intention was to try to create a rustic look the easy way. And I used a picture for reference. You kind of see a brownish tone and also orange, some blue and if you look very carefully also some dark red. So those are the colors that I want to use for my rust look. And I showed the picture before in, uh, in the video. So there will be a link in the description where you can click and go back to my reference picture. So I put some orange acrylic paint and also bronze metallic paint on my protective sheet. First adding the orange paint, lightly touching the raised parts. And then I use water to lighten it 
into the background. So you see me here adding the orange acrylic paint directly onto the raised areas of the texture that I made. And I'm adding it with, with water to make it more flowy but also to keep it a bit lighter as a first layer so it gets in the nooks and the crannies of my texture. And after that, I'm re-adding the orange paint to some bits of the raised areas to create more depth. And this time I am not watering it down, it's just a pure orange. And this process takes me a while to get it where I like it. Going back and forth over the layers till I get it to look the way I wanted it to look. And when I'm happy, I also touch the texture page with a bronze gold metallic paint to give it some extra depth and color. So as you have seen in my inspiration picture, there's also some dark red in it. And I thought I would try to create something extra on this page by using a stamp and embossing powder to create one more layer of interest on my page. Adding the embossing ink on very generously and pressing the stamp down firmly using a lot of pressure because of all the texture that is already onto the page. And I'm hoping this will work out. Then I'm dumping all my red powder, so the whole bottle is just a small one, but I'm dumping it all on and hope for the best. And the loose powder that around the stamp that you normally brush away, I didn't brush it away and that gave a very subtle texture. So that was a happy mistake. And it really turned out gorgeous, which is not really very visible in the video, but I have pictures at the end that will show it from closer up so you can see how beautiful it looks. So now it's time to embellish my page and another prompt that I had, one was embossing powder, so I used already two prompts, rust and embossing powder. And the third prompt I wanted to use was circle and I actually did my texture paste in a circle and now I'm also adding a book text uh, circle that I cut out with my die. And I'm just seeing how I want to place this. I'm also adding this butterfly. And then I decided I wanted to have even more texture. So I also am cutting out a piece of lace ribbon. And of course I need to color it black. So I'm using black paint 
and also some shimmer spray. And then my battery died on me and I didn't notice that. So part of this video where I'm just gluing this stuff on is missing. And I'm also seeing now that I did some shadowing around the butterfly. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Then as my reference picture showed there was also some teal bluish color in the rust so i'm adding first an acrylic paint in that color just on some places And then I'm also adding a metallic spray in a teal blue color, which has a lot of shimmer in it for some extra sparkle. I inked my, the edges of my paper with some teal blue ink and I also ran it on some bits of my background to get the, the tealish look on some more places than only in my uh, texture. I made some splatters with the spray ink and I stamped some numbers and I also added some scribbles around the circle. If you enjoyed this tutorial video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I hope you will try this dye rust technique. Thanks so much for watching! Bye bye everybody!